I title this video is MMA Fighters Batter Wing Chun Masters in China. I don't like watching these sort of videos. Um, one person sent me one of these videos and I just deleted it because I don't I don't care to watch this stuff and I don't I just don't like this stuff, you know. But the difference today is one of my students that I trained directly sent me this video and I watched the video you go to the eight minute mark and it's maybe like two minutes long and you can see what goes on I put the link in the description section of this video um, I guess a lot of people are curious on what I might think about this first of all I'm sick and tired of how people you know videos are being improperly labeled things are being improperly um, represented and the confusion is getting worse and worse and worse it's pretty much pretty much like the problems with um, what do you call um, falsely you know you know falsely tagging things and spam you know you, you you're calling something that is something that it's not you know like you know somebody says hey you know woman throws up all over the floor in a video and then you watch the video and then it's a guy you know playing basketball well why is the video titled woman throws up all over the floor but then the video it's not even a woman it's a guy playing basketball like that's what's happening you know so this this thing is being titled MMA fighters batter Wing Chun masters in China first of all if you're a master then how could you be battered like a master is somebody who has perfected what they do so he cannot be battered um, and just the, the fact that people claim in Wing Chun is just a bunch of nonsense but anyway in the video the so-called MMA fighter just starts beating down the Wing Chun practitioner. So a more proper label might have been MMA fighters batter Wing Chun practitioners, Wing Chun students, Wing Chun teachers, but don't call them masters, okay? Um, and it's this more heavy set guy who's claiming the MMA and then it's more of a skinny guy, you know, more frail claiming the Wing Chun system and it's like the Wing Chun system was created by a woman so what what do you think is gonna happen I mean this is not for men to use for egoistic competitive reasons basically the the style is not for men at all the style is for women to defend themselves against men um, during exigent circumstances during survival situations it's some basics of combat that they could do to protect themselves. That's what the Wing Chun system is for. Um, even during Bruce Lee's time, he exposed the weaknesses of that and he had to transcend that system and create his own way that is beyond Wing Chun, beyond Tai Chi, beyond Chole Fut, beyond Shaolin, beyond um, Karate, beyond, beyond anything that's available because it was his own unique way that was based on his experience and based on what was effective for him. Now, like, when it comes to, you know, this is just, first of all, and then in the video, it's not even really MMA because MMA is associated with cage, with the cage. There's no cage there. Another thing is the guy kept fight, st stopping the fight when the Win Chun practitioner was falling to the ground that's not MMA either because MMA doesn't stop the fight when it when just because somebody falls down MMA promotes and encourages them to continue to keep beating on them so this was not really MMA being displayed either um, because there's no cage because it's not the UFC because um, the rules were clearly different within this engagement what was happening in this engagement is just basically almost like a street fight you know the the Wing Chun practitioner didn't have any gloves on or any equipment um, the MMA so-called MMA fighter had just these small gloves on but it was pretty much just a street fight against a skinny 
a skinny Chinese guy against a heavy set Chinese guy. Who's gonna be better? Who's better? The skinny guy, who's gonna get beat up? The skinny guy is gonna get beat up or the or the big chunky guy is gonna get beat up. You know, it's like another thing is they weren't they're not even in the same weight class, so it's not like it's not really a fair fight either as far as weight is concerned. Um, because you don't wanna pair up a very skinny person with a large person because the large person is just gonna overpower and overwhelm the skinny person. That's why there are weight classes in boxing. Um, that's why you don't see Floyd Mayweather fighting against Anthony Joshua. You know, Anthony Joshua is like six foot seven and like two hundred forty pounds or two hundred eighty pounds against Mayweather, who's like hundred forty five pounds. I mean, you don't see that because it's too dangerous. Somebody's gonna die in the ring, and typically it's gonna be the smaller person. Um, so. The weight classes is not is is just of course the big guy is has an advantage you know um, he's just basically manhandling the skinny guy so it, it's not labeled properly it, MMA fighter batters Wing Chun masters in China first of all it's not even a masters it's just one person um, it should have been just heavy set fighter batters a skinny skinny practitioner in China. That's a more accurate description of what happened, but they don't label it that, that because it's not going to generate any publicity. Um, so then they label it with these labels that are false, just like the people out there that are labeling, hey, you know, Kung Fu Master gets beat up by Karate Master. Or it's like if he was truly a Kung Fu Master, he wouldn't have gotten beaten up. You know, you don't call somebody a master who is not perfect at what they do. A master is somebody who is perfect at what he does. That's, you know, somebody like Floyd Mayweather that has a perfect record, 15-0. You could label him as a master. But even Muhammad Ali, he lost, you know, a good amount of matches. He's not a master. I'm sorry, he lost. Even Mike Tyson, he was good, but he wasn't a master. He lost. If you lose, you cannot be a master. A master is represented as somebody who gets to a level where he does not lose or cannot lose because he might have transcended the idea of even fighting so he doesn't lose. So somebody who just doesn't fight is a master because he can't lose because he doesn't fight. You know, it's like this thing that's going on with all these mis these mislabels is just really annoying and that's a big reason why I don't watch this stuff is because it's just really annoying to me. It kind of gets me, you know, you know, disappointed it gets me you know just annoyed more than anything um so this heavy set guy is not representing mma you know or he's he's claiming mma i mean all it is is just people claiming what they want to claim it's like saying oh you know this bulls player is better than this indiana pacers player I mean, the Bulls used to be good when Michael Jordan was there, but now they're one of the worst teams ever because nobody in the team is good. So they got no people that are good representing that, that squad. So, But the Golden State Warriors used to be horrible in the past. Now they're considered the best team in the NBA because they got good basketball players that are representing that squad and representing that team. So basically, the MMA fighters, you know, people that choose to represent MMA... They're representing it with a lot of aggression, a lot of violence, and just just very hard training. So, of course, they're going to be able to batter people who are claiming Wing Chun and Tai Chi. I mean, Wing Chun system was created by a woman. Tai Chi is for old people. So, what you expect, like, you know, these old people, and you expect a system that was created by a woman to just over all of a sudden overpower, like, people that are trying to represent MMA that are, like, athletes you know it's like putting a team of professors against like you know the athletes of the school it's like the professors are not focused on the physical the professors are focused on the intellectual they read a lot of books and they do a lot of study but then the athletes do what they do they play their football they play their basketball they play their sports and they're good at that so we're gonna you know see okay let's see which professors can beat up these 
these athletes this is not what the professors focus on you know so it's like like the the Tai Chi is for health for the older people generation the older people that practice the martial arts that's what Tai Chi is known for the Wing Chun is a system designed for women so of course these systems are not gonna be designed to beat up the MMA fighters because this is not what it's for but the MMA fighters that's what they do they fight so you could pair up MMA it makes more sense to to have MMA fighters fight, as, fight against Muay Thai fighters have MMA fighters fight against boxers because that's what they do you know and just because somebody's representing boxing doesn't mean they're that they're dope I mean you got somebody who says oh I'm a boxer and then he gets beat up but then, you know, you put Floyd Mayweather against somebody and then Floyd Mayweather beats up the MMA fighter. You know, it's like this guy said, oh, MMA fighter. Um, so you could very easily be, oh, MMA fighter batters the boxers, Western boxers in China. Well, okay, uh, MMA fighter, this guy, he beat up the boxer. Okay, well, then go ahead and have this MMA fighter. Have him fight Anthony Joshua. See what happens. Anthony Joshua will will knock out this MMA fighter in one punch, if not if not kill him. You know what I mean? Like it's just depending on what people choose to represent. You know, it's like you decide. Do you want to claim MMA? Do you want to represent MMA? Do you want to represent boxing? Do you want to represent kickboxing? Do you want to represent Muay Thai boxing? Do you want to represent Tai Chi? Do you want to represent Wing Chun? And what I'm saying is that like. The Tai Chi is for health for old people. That's what the general consensus is according to that label. And the Wing Chun is a system designed for the woman. So these are not s systems for fighting. You know, so like even Taekwondo is, is not a system for fighting. It's, it's become an Olympic sport. So like this... The, the, the what's going on is just is, is is silliness you know because people could just go ahead and just label whatever they want to label McGregor's representing MMA next thing you know he's he, he's he's in a boxing ring with Floyd Mayweather what like what is what, what is he doing in a boxing ring Floyd Mayweather's a boxer but if you check up on YouTube there's a video in with him in WWE fighting somebody you know and then now I'm you know Floyd May was thinking about trying to to fight in the MMA cage, you know. So it's like this MMA. F there, there could be an MMA fighter. They just be like, hey, you know, all right. Now I'm gonna represent um Tai Chi now, and then I'll, I'll beat up the the MMA fighters and and say that Tai Chi is better now. It's like it's just affiliation to groups, you know. It's like LeBron James. You know, he started off in Cleveland and he went to the Miami Heat. And then and then Miami Heat won two championships. And then he went back to Cleveland and won a championship for Cleveland. Like, wherever the talent goes, then it's going to enhance the representation of that group. So, there's just nobody representing Wing Chun to a high level because the system is overpopulated by people that that are not there for fighting that's not what it's for so the Wing Chun people and the Tai Chi people would pretty much probably destroy the um, MMA fighters in exams you know like reading books and taking exams and their intelligence because those are the types of people that will affiliate themselves with those types of expressions of the martial arts and essentially, these old labels just need to be destroyed altogether. You know, they got to, you know, MMA, the MMA label, label wasn't existing back in Bruce Lee's time, but it exists today because the label ha is, is more modern. Um, but the Tai Chi label has, has it's, it's, it's a label that's been around for hundreds of years and it needs to change. Wing Chun label has been around for hundreds of years and it needs to change. So they need to stop saying Wing Chun and they need to stop saying Tai Chi and they need to start representing more accurately, more accurately what they truly are representing. But they're not doing that. You know, they're just having thousands of people claiming Wing Chun, thousands of people claiming Tai Chi and 
it's just basically just joining different groups or you could call them gangs or parties, political parties, Democrat, Republican or whatever. It's just joining different parties and saying, okay, which group is better than what other group? You know, and MMA is known for brutality. So what do you expect? So what we have like MMA versus the SWAT team. See who wins. SWAT team comes in there and just shoots them and kill, kills everybody. You know, you know MMA versus um, the samurai. Where the samurai get to use their swords. We'll see what happens. Next thing you know, line up 100 MMA fighters and then all 100 of their heads are missing. Because the samurai just cuts all their heads off. I mean... You know, MMA versus Filipino stick fighting. And then, you know, they get, all the MMA fighters get beaten down with sticks. Gather up all the Muay Thai fighters in Thailand. And then have the MMA fighters against the Muay Thai fighters. I mean, the Muay Thai people are serious at what they do. They're brutal. They're just as brutal as the MMA people. So, see what happens. You know, they're both violent. Let's go have the MMA fighters go into WWE and have them fight all the people in the WWE and see see who's better. WWE are strong, steroid-injected people. That's more of a... You don't know what's going to happen. Who Who's going to win more? Will the WWE wrestlers win more over the MMA fighters? Have the MMA fighters fight against the whole NFL football teams? All of the people... See who's going to win. That's more, that makes more sense. MMA fighters fighting against the whole NFL football team. Let's see who's, who's better at fighting. But if you say the MMA fighters and then you put them against like, you know, the junior high chess club. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? You know what I mean? The junior high chess club, they're not there for fighting. Okay, let's have the MMA fighters go against the um the high school swimming team. It's like, what do you think is gonna happen? The swimming team is not there to fight. So the Wing Chun and Tai Chi, the systems are not designed for that type of aggressive fighting. It's more for health promotion and retaining your intelligence, and that's not what it represents. But if you said MMA fighters versus Bruce Lee, who's representing Jeet Kune Do then that's a whole nother thing because Bruce Lee, he was serious with what he did and he, he did no rules and he was just, he was just, at, you know, he was representing the top of the top during his time. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't mess with that. Or you say MMA fighters against Floyd Mayweather Jr., well, he's going to beat down a lot of those MMA fighters because he's really good at what he does. So, you know, it's just... Things are just being improperly labeled, and it's getting really annoying, to tell you the truth. Um, but I wanted to put this video out there because, you know, people need to think, you know, before they start labeling things like this. And it's just creating more confusion out there. And um, it's just, it's a big mess. You know, it's just a lot of people just don't understand what's going on. And, um, everything's mumble jumble. But, I mean, you can see what's happening. The American influence is, is going to China, and now they're just duking it out, and everybody's fighting against each other, and a bunch of Chinese people fighting with each other. And it's really back to square one and where it started where it's just people fighting on the streets to see testing out what they do and see what they think is what works what's effective and what they deem is better it's just different labels back then it was like okay chole foot work versus wind chun okay now it's mma versus wind chun you know before it's like you know praying mantis versus hungar it's just different labels. It's just different groups of people of what they wish to affiliate themselves with, what they want to represent, and then they're just fighting each other to see, try to try to build a reputation for their group of people. You know, so, you know, that's all I got to say. <laughs>